what is going on my friends fox here fxrc i have a couple of new additions to the fleet the techno eb 48 and the et 48 2.0 absolutely stunning if you have never had the privilege of owning a techno rc well you are missing out because they are just such a high quality rc uh very amazingly engineered uh, for the track really um, but I am of course going to bash these but I do have kind of set up for a little bit of both the track and for bashing look at them it came out very very nice indeed uh, so I'm showing them both because they're pretty similar vehicles. It's really just the same platform, you know, with the Truggy having the longer chassis as well as the longer arms. So, but for the most part, I mean, it's the same, it's the same RC, you know, just kind of stretched out to make a Truggy. So that's why I'm kind of showing them both because they are quite similar uh, and just absolutely amazing. Like so most things in their class. These are eight scale. Look at the body. I, I'm i a huge fan of these squared uh, body style that they're kind of going with on these new these newer generation technos. Uh, I, I do like it a lot. I, um, not only just like the squared design, I do like that, but uh, how well these bodies hug the chassis is absolutely just like a glove. They just really, hug the chassis perfectly there is no no space in there at all like just really very tight fit so and that's what she said right <laughs> look at that so they definitely came out really nice so i have a set of dirt tracks x cons on the outside there and these are just kind of a good little dirt tracks make good little the cheaper tires uh, but they're good, so, and they're kind of just good to beat on and stuff, so. And then I have some AKA, which ones are these? The Impact. Uh, AKA make a very high quality race tire. Uh, very soft, very, uh, you know, typical square pin tapered off design there. Very nice tire. Uh, uh, firm foam on the inside soft rubber should get incredible traction on most surfaces and then I have on the other side a set of dura tracks and I'll show you that here in a second for bashing it with because these are these are nice but I want to save these for the actual track so I got some some ones just to kind of bash around and and then on the other side of this one I got some Schumacher uh what are they called the one of the, the venom uh and it's just a good uh hard hard pack surface tire so they seem to fit a little bit wider than the buggy tire usually just slightly wider but they work on this you get some good grip on hard pack surfaces well now what else wings are good i did add some aluminum wing buttons not that the they have like these composite ones with with like the uh, little kind of steel insert thing there, counter sink washer. I uh, got rid of that and just kind of upgraded to some titanium wing buttons there. They look nice. All right, and then the the bodies are very nice. Techno Techno make great things. So, uh, and the kits that come with these the bodies uh, some of their kits don't come with bodies but these happen to come with the body so it's nice uh, but no tires and no electronics but besides that everything else so uh, absolutely and it, like I said they are putting these things together is just uh, the manual is absolutely amazing colored pictures are just super super nice and it is very detailed uh, really anybody could put this thing together so uh, they make uh, incredible incredibly detailed manuals very nice good job techno look at that they both have the 16 millimeter bib bore shocks 
with the emulsion caps. I believe they're 775 aluminum caps too. Uh, well, so like I said, Technomate just they just make them really, and they and these things feel super super nice, you guys. All right, 7075 shock towers, obviously. And now this is obviously uh, on most truggies, the body will go onto the outside of the front shock tower. Um, this is a very uh, new design on 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 a truggy. Really, you don't see that. Uh, uh, I, I do like it. I think it looks awesome. It's incredibly unique. Uh, I, I do know this is probably going to catch a lot of um, It's going to definitely take some abuse for sure. Uh, they do make a nylon guard. I did debate getting it um, to cover uh, to give this some sort of protection, I guess uh, But I really wasn't sure because M2C actually is starting to make parts for this rig so uh, they actually make shock towers for this. So I mean, I thought uh, I don't know if it's if that will, will fit the M2C shock towers, and I was thinking about getting the M2C shock towers. So uh, I just said, you know what, screw it. If I screw them up, it'll give me a reason to get the M2C ones uh, because these are super nice, and it would be a shame just to. I mean, the, look at those shock towers. These are really really nice. I would. It would probably take quite a bit to bend these. Um, obviously I think the bulkhead would break first because this they are just really nicely nice quality aluminum very nice and what else let's get the bodies off and see the inside now obviously besides a couple aluminum wing buttons I did do a few upgrades uh, you know this is FXRC I don't really do uh, stock vehicles if there's some kind of upgrade that I can do to uh, I think will help me maybe bash it better or something I like then I'm, I can't help myself you guys so obviously I did some things let me get the bodies off and we'll take a look there we go and just look at that you guys just as sexy with the bodies off as always I guess I'll start with the electronics get that out of the way I went with the hobby wing XR8 uh, 6S capable adjustable BEC, uh, pretty much a Max 8 that's censored. Uh, Hobby Wings only censored 6S ESC, uh, and, and like I said, it's uh, you know it's got the specs of a Max 8, but a ton more features or a good amount of more features. You know, more tuned for and set up for a race scenario, but it's just an amazing little ESC. And I got that paired with the Hobby Wing. 4274 G3. Look at this thing. 2250 KV motor. Absolute gorgeous motor. You guys. Are all the cutouts in there. So, and on the buggy is a 16 2 pinion techno. And then for a servo, on the buggy is an MKS X5. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience with these servos. Uh, this I have like maybe three of them uh, and I haven't really used them too much so uh, I know they work great now and they have uh, you know they're plenty strong and plenty fast especially with this little buggy uh, but as far as like anything else I don't know uh, how like longevity wise but uh, plenty fast I was gonna go with a ProTech black label and this I have and I end up putting in my Typhon but it would not work with this servo mount uh, because of the plug on the the actual wire plugs into the servo on the ProTec black labels uh, and with this techno servo mount uh, there's just not enough room in there to get that to plug in without uh, really uh, doing something to that servo mount and I, I just didn't want to I said you know what I just had this one lying around and I threw it in and like I said it's plenty strong so and then I have the exact same setup except for the servo on this guy is the uh, the AGFRC. Good focus in there. AGFRC. Look at that. 30, what is that? 36 kilogram. Uh, crazy fast, fully waterproof, fully aluminum servo. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, I've, I've had a, a few AGFRC servos. They are, they are very good servos um, and a, a very reputable name. So. And like I said, more than strong and, and fast enough for this thing. Uh, and then I have both of these on with my, I think I have Spectrum three channel receivers. On, I got it on my DX5 Pro. 
now that the electronics are out of the way, let me just look at the actual of these and chuggy. So this chassis is fully 7075. It's got all the cutouts. Look at that. And that it's like a goldish kind of titanium, look just the same as the shocks. Very nice. As you can see on the rear, I have these uh, skid plates by TP on the TP, I guess TP is what they're called. Uh, TP for techno, it says on there. As you can, TP for techno, 7075. Look at that. These things were, these are really nice uh, skids, you guys. Uh, they like, they even kind of taper at the edge here, just so they're not like a straight cut. So you even have like that little tapered edge on, I mean, look at that. Uh, incredibly nice, 7075. All the way, it's a company, it must be, I think it came from China. And it took quite a little while to get here, but very, very nice in that beautiful techno blue. Uh, then, as you can see, I have the M2C top plate there. Look at that. Now, this is obviously, it says ET48 2.0, but it's the same top plate, so it works for this also. And then I have the all racing set yeah all racing um 7075 aluminum center brace look at this you guys this is the first company that it, that's made anything like this and, and this is quite similar to like the m2c one for the previous model and they do all racing also makes uh a bracing for the previous models of uh the the eb48s so but they are the first ones to actually make one for the, this model. Uh, and it did take a little while to get here, but because it did come all the way from China. And it, they are, it just completely uh, replaces this two actual uh, center bracing in the front. There's one that comes down and then it's one that comes down for your mortar mount. And it just eliminates both of those as well as your battery. There's a little piece that goes right here for your other side of your battery holder. And it eliminates that also, uh, and then you and it has four M4 screws to the bottom as well as two M3s. So you're you're this thing is incredibly screwed in, and then it has the two M4s, one on the top as well as one to your top plate. So incredibly stiff setup. Uh, very eager to see how that works out. And then I do have the all racing 7075 rear chassis brace also really stiffening up this chassis because i want to give it as much chance as possible because i am going to bash the shit out of it so uh now as you can see i have the same thing over here so m2c top plate look at that stunning all racing center brace m2c rear chassis brace look at that because m2c is like i said making parts and for these vehicles that's awesome you guys and they do make a chassis as well as shock towers but like i said this chassis and these shock towers are so nice it would be a damn shame to just replace them right out the gate i really would uh i think just with these these stiffening it up uh it's going to be take a quite a bit, I would think, to bend this chassis at this point, or at least in these places. So, and then I even have the uh, all racing makes the 7075 uh, mount for your rear brace. So this is all aluminum. Now I ordered two of these from them, and they and at the same time I ordered all of the other all racing parts. And this is a company I've never actually used before. Um, I'm quite impressed, actually, with the quality of it. Um, they give you all of the hardware. Uh, uh, the only problem I had was they just forgot one of those pieces. But as soon as I contacted them, I emailed them. They emailed me back the next day and said they were sending out a part. And they did right away. So I haven't got it yet. Hopefully, as long as it comes and it's the right color, I will be super happy. So, Because, like I said, the quality is just absolutely... I'm super impressed with how nice it is. So... Uh, now, there, like I said, it, it screws in on the bottom with the four M4 bolts, and the, the hardware they give you don't really go very far. I, I used the hardware for this one, so you could see. 
um, well that, uh, see how, and it doesn't quite go all the way through. Uh, now on the buggy here, I did, <clears throat> because I, I ran out of screws that were long enough, because you can't have do it with too long of screws, where I'm actually, uh, it's kind of hard to see in there, but I'm actually putting a bolt on the, t I'm running a longer screw, and I put the bolt on the top. And I want to do that to this other one too. And real, I mean, you could probably do it with any single, every single one. And it's just going to make for a much stronger connection. And you're not just going to be relying on the threads alone. Yeah. Uh, so, um, like I said, the hardware they give you don't really go that far into the actual. It only goes like halfway up. So, I would use longer hardware at least to use all of the threads. But. There's enough room before you get to that drive shaft where you could put a longer, and hopefully, I can't imagine that drive shaft's gonna flex enough to actually hit that bolt, so. But I guess I'll find out. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Uh, you know, this, not really a lot, you guys need to really upgrade, and all of this stuff is pretty unnecessary for these things because they are so incredibly well built. Uh, I just like to do some upgrades so and when I saw that um, there was a company besides M2C making some of this stuff that you know then obviously I had to check it out so I am incredibly impressed obviously with M2C because everything M2C is always very nice so I'm super psyched that they are making some parts for these these plus platform because uh, uh, it's such a nice such a nice platform so I'm really eager to see what else comes out next for this, or these rigs. So, what else can we talk about? Uh, so, oh, fully aluminum suspension blocks, all four, and uh, fully adjustable because it has all of the little inserts. And you can't really tell, see them in there, but uh, fully. Ah, here we go. As you can see, it has all the inserts and that beautiful blue, techno blue, and that rear shock tracker. Uh, the uh, rear wing is all one piece, and it uh, can uh, adjust the height up and down. Uh, it's right in the middle, so you can go up one or you can go down one. It's got the 7075 Ackerman, that, and the beautiful techno blue, as well as the aluminum. I don't know if it's 7075. I wouldn't be surprised with Techno though, if it was. Uh, C hubs is the R15s on the in the I mean the 15 degrees and that's a right R for right. The and then the, the buggy's got the 18. So that is stock. Uh, let's see what else. And then the aluminum center drive shaft. You see that there, all aluminum. Um, that's a definitely a techno thing. Uh, incredibly uh, easy access. Uh, um, and all of these open platform buggy race style are have easy access differentials, but techno really takes it to another, another level with, I mean, these, this thing is such an ease to work on. Everything is just completely thought out. Everything just is so accessible. Uh, your center differential, I mean, just the four screws and the whole thing just comes out sideways. So it just really easily can line up your drive shafts and it just goes in right in. Absolutely amazing design. Um, all aluminum motor mount, obviously, 7075 probably. Although I, I don't know for sure. Uh, what else? I do have the steel spur gear on the buggy here um, because I did the buggy first. Uh, but then I noticed that it was leaking, uh, but I, the composite one wasn't. Um, so I assumed it had something to do with the actual spur gear because I do have the steel spur gear for the Truggy also, 44.2. Then it is a techno part, so it, it should work perfectly. I've never had a problem with techno parts. Um, uh, so I, I ordered some uh, seals uh, and some o-rings it, but it looked like it was leaking from the o-ring um, and i don't know if it's because i actually store the buggy and the truggy actually both uh, uh like this and it was kind of seeming like it was leaking from the o-ring but i mean it's going to run down anyway so it's super hard to tell exactly where it's coming from until you actually open it up and maybe you can, might be able to tell but 
uh, I got some more O-rings coming. I want to make sure that that, that, that one's not going to leak before I put it because the composite one works perfectly. It's not leaking at all. Uh, but I do would, would like to have the, the steel one because I am going to bash this and probably on 6S. So uh, composite one is, uh, these are actually pretty, only really meant for 4S uh, on the track. So 6S is going to be really just insane in these things. I, I cannot wait. I'm super, super excited. You guys are going to be badass. Ah, uh, what else? You know, the actual Technos A-arms and H-arms are just absolutely insane, you guys. I mean, just look at how rugged these things are. You see I got the skids on the, the Truggy also, all 7075 by that TP company. TP for Techno. Look at the... Look at those ARs. Some of the nicest ARs, I tell you what, you guys are. They're just so, so stout, so strong, just solid. Look at that. Freaking love these tech Techno rigs, you guys. Uh, you know, and that's nothing new. This is something that Techno, it's a very, very Techno thing, these ARs. So, I cannot wait. These things are going to be absolute animals. Uh, I cannot wait to see what else comes out for these but also what else m2c does for them and you know who knows the sky's the limit so because i think that you know now that it's been a little while the buggy came out first and the druggy came out so it's they've been now out for a while they they kind of uh retired their older platform there's a couple of new there's a couple of rigs that are still on that the mt mt410 is on that old chassis uh, as well as I believe the short course truck, Techno short course truck is on that same older chassis. So maybe they'll switch those and have newer ones onto on this chassis, uh, which would be epic. It really would be. So hopefully we'll see that from Techno in the future. These things are absolutely sick. Look at the bodies back on. You guys, look at that. I am definitely a fan of the squared bodies. Not only the way they look, but just how well they, they really hug the chassis. Uh, I'm just a huge fan. So, I guess, oh yeah, and before I forget, I should probably just flip this around. Like I said, these are the Duratrax blinders. Um, you know, Duratrax are cheaper tire. They really are, but they're, they're still a pretty good tire. And I, I was really more just kind of looking for a tire that had a zero offset, but wasn't much different from size from the actual truggy tires so these kind of fit the bill they should be a good little bashing tire we'll see how they hold up so i have never used them before so i can't say but it looks badass that is for sure so anyway i am super super excited to get these bad boys out so excited to see what else comes out from you know some of these companies especially m2c you guys for these rigs because everything right now is just for this platform like i said they have the chassis as well as the shock towers besides the top plate and the rear chassis brace but at i'm sure that they will in the future be doing other things so uh, absolutely love m2c cannot wait to see what they do next first look at my ev and et 48 2.0 these things are going to be animals. Thank you so much for watching, as always. As far as part numbers, uh, all ra all the all racing stuff you I found on eBay. You can just go to eBay uh, and find it. And then all the M2C, same thing. Easily go to the website and navigate to Techno Parts. Uh, the rest is pretty much just kind of Techno things, and you can easily find that. So Anyway, Fox here, FXRC. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.